I'm a different type of nigga, different type of boss. Had a couple wins, but we took too many losses. All these back and forth thoughts got a nigga feeling out of Everybody hating on me, yeah, I gotta be precocious. So, what's up, y'all? We back with it. We with uh, Young Rico right now. How you been, man? Shit, I've been good, you know. Just trying to get my paper right, you know what I'm saying? Trying to promote this goddamn music, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, I can dig it. Put the city on, you know, put Pablo on the map, you know what I'm saying? Put my city on the map type shit. Heck yeah. You know, so, uh, put the zoo on the map. The zoo, yeah. Uh, uh, the zoo, uh, give us a little uh, a little bit of background. Like, where, where, where are you from? Originally. Shit, I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's like, a, uh, I say about like two hours away from Detroit. And it's like a little diversified ass city. You know what I mean? We got like pretty much everybody in that bitch. We got motherfuckers from Battle Creek, motherfuckers from Grand Rapids, motherfuckers from the zoo. We got motherfuckers from Chicago there. You know what I mean? Just a diversified ass city, you know? Growing up there, that shit was kind of crazy, but I wouldn't say it's like growing up in Chicago or nothing like that, but you know, like certain blocks, you try to walk down there, get your ass, might get stumped out, might get jumped, you know? I actually know a nigga rapping, I ain't gonna speak on his name, but I, he ended up getting jumped uh, by some Northside niggas when we was kids. So, you know, just just regular ass, ghetto ass city, you know what I mean? Nothing major, yeah. you know? Nothing crazy, you know what I mean? But, you know, same ghetto ass city as everybody got, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, What's your background and like, what what got you into um, to rap music or just music in general? So when I was like nine, really before I was nine, really when I was growing up, like I used to listen to Wayne and, and Drake a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, and Drake was really like getting known around like 09 type shit, you know, he came out with that forever with Eminem and Wayne and shit. But I was kind of like fucking with Drake before he was even signed to uh, Young Money and shit, you know what I mean? So, really though, the main motherfuckers I listened to when I was growing up was like Wayne, Drake, uh, Pimp C and shit, you know, shit like that. And then, like, I don't know, man, like, we used to do, like, dance battles. We used to be on, like, Step Up and shit, you know what I mean? Doing little dance battles or whatever, you know? And, uh... My brother would always win the dance battles and shit, but like I ain't really fuck with dance. I, I liked it, you know, but I ain't really care too much for it. Like I ain't see myself trying to grow up and be no no choreographer, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like when it came to music, like I got into that music shit because my my uh, big brother Booter, he my god brother, that nigga used to come over and spit bars. He used to write bars and shit, and he kind of like like inspired us to rap. And then when I caught the wave, you know what I'm saying? I just was a, a rapping motherfucker, like, you know, it got to the point where my cousin Papa would set up little rap battles between me and my bigger brother, and like, I would win every time, motherfuckers would pit 20 on us, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, I got 20 on, ooh, ooh, I got 20 on him, you know, and motherfuckers would always try to big bet me type shit, because they knew I was going to eat, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's really where it came from, man, when I was like nine years old, man, like, I really got into rap real nice, you know what I mean, and it just became a part of me, I was just like, shit, this me, you know what I mean? <coughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I feel you, I feel you. Fucking, um, if it wasn't for music, where would you be right now? Honestly, if it wasn't for music, bro, that's really not even, a, I don't even know how to really answer that. Because I really ain't even know where right now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get there still. You know what I mean? But I feel like if it wasn't for, if it wasn't a way for me to vent through music, you know what I mean? Then I wouldn't know no other way to vent. You know, like, I'd probably be dealing with a lot of depression if, if it wasn't for music, you know, I'm able to let out a lot and let go of a lot when I make music, you yeah. know what I mean? And uh, that's why I feel like I'll be at without music, man. I feel like I'll probably be in some type of deep ass state of depression, you know what I mean? And, and probably won't even, wouldn't even like myself type shit, you know? It, it helps me vent knowing that I got music on my side, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got that's you. Shoot, uh, can you like describe the type of style of, of music that, that you make? Honestly, I don't even know what type of style of music I make. Uh, really, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Like when I hop in the studio, I see your light real quick. When I, when I hop in the studio, bro, I really be taking nigga swag, bro. And when I say taking nigga swag, I ain't even talking about local artists. You know, I'm talking about like famous motherfuckers. Like I like to describe it. Like I'll be just, I'm telling my girl. Like I always tell her, I'm like nigga, if uh, if the whole motherfucking QC record label. Everybody died right now and they signed me, I could take over for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. 
So I really wanna say I really got my own style. Like I done made a song with my own style, you know what I mean? Like I got I feel like that song Leave Me Alone is like somewhat of my own style. But really I just be taking niggas styles, bro. I be taking niggas styles, I take little baby style. I take thugs, I think on my uh that uh London swag. I took thugs style on that bitch. I be taking DC the Don style. Uh I be taking little Uzi style sometimes. Uh shit, nigga, I, uh, I just dropped a song called Heart Attack. I took Rollo style on that bitch, Rollo Rodriguez. You know what I'm saying? So like, how, how does it go? It would be like, it would be like, pull up in this bitch, get it out real quick. It would be like that. We gonna speak a couple facts, bring it back. Remember all them days I ain't had shit, but now I stay. Give a fuck about no nigga talk to me, you ain't gonna pay the act. You know what I'm saying? So he's just like deep in his voice type shit, you know what I mean? And then he just talk to like he crying. Like, like you know, like when the woman be like, oh, you got damn, oh, my, my, I'm sorry. Then they're like he crying, you know, you hop on that bitch, come and get it back, no matter what. Get it back, hell yeah, finna stack it up, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know, and you know the little baby shit, you know? Yeah. Get to the money, I do my own thing, and I'm finna blow like, I mean, you know, just little, you know, just little shit, I just tweak my voice up, be fucking around, you know what I mean? Little shit like that. Okay, okay. Shoot, um, I remember freaking, uh, we got, we... I posted that comment on Facebook about about uh, uh, niggas stealing the fucking Detroit scam scam rapper sound and shit like that, and niggas need to come with their own little sound and shit like that. Yeah, I'm glad that you brought that up. I'm glad that you brought that up because actually, because you know a lot of a lot of a lot of Colorado rappers, fucking uh, especially like local artists from like Denver area and whatnot. I've noticed that they try to freaking mimic that that type of style yeah. and like, okay, we do this, then we gonna blow, we finna be on the map. And that's why I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up because the time that I approached you about it and I hopped in the comments, I was really trying to, I was trying to uh, take up for other motherfuckers that probably would feel offended by the post. But in a way, I feel like you was kind of like sticking up for my, uh, you know, my my state. In a way, you know what I mean. Now that I think about it, and we and we come back to it, like in a way, you was kind of sticking up for my state, man, because. Motherfuckers that don't sound like where we from, bro, and y'all be trying to pretend like y'all sound like that, that shit is kind of like goofy as hell to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like, y'all do y'all own thing, y'all keep making y'all music high. Cause like, like I just said, I be stealing nigga style all the time, but I'm not stealing a, a city style. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've been to Atlanta. I done lived in Atlanta. So if a motherfucker say, oh, he sound like he, like he trying to be like somebody from Atlanta, you can't really say that because I done lived in Atlanta, you know, I done really like been around their culture, you know what I mean? I done been around them for so long, I learned how to talk like them, I, you know, I damn near started talking like them, you know what I mean? But I'm not finna be a Denver motherfucker over here trying to sound like somebody from Detroit. Yeah. Honestly, it ain't even gonna fly. It ain't even gonna fly based off the fact that you not really from Detroit, so you don't know the culture of Michigan, you know what I'm saying? You don't know Michigan culture, so you really can't just be like... I, I, I sound like this motherfucker. Like, you can pretend all you want and try to mimic the next motherfucker, but it ain't gonna never come out like that. You know what I mean? Because y'all not really from that way. And y'all don't know the culture. You know what I mean? Unless you really been out there, been around motherfuckers, and chill with motherfuckers out there, and then lived out there, you don't, you don't really know how to spit like them. Mm -hmm. Y'all just trying to mimic some shit y'all done heard. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I said, I do it with this. I do it with, with, with big artists. You know what I mean? But my advice is if y'all gonna steal somebody's shit, do it with big artists. Don't don't try to steal a whole style and a whole wave that's going through somebody's city right now. Bro, just steal one of these big niggas style. You might blow. Shit. That's my advice, you know? Okay, okay. For real. Should, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, so, like, living down here in Pueblo, what do you feel like bothers you the most about artists and producers down here? First of all, I'm going to start with producers. The producers, bro, my whole thing is, like, niggas don't really want to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody trying to make a come up. Like, I've been out here for about six, seven years, and I kind of watch motherfuckers grow. You know, I got a chance yeah. to watch people grow and, 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 and build what they trying to build. And, it, bro, keep doing your thing. I'm that type of, keep doing your thing, but my, this Rico talking to y'all. For the producers, I didn't deal with the reason why I don't come to y'all studio and I'd rather make a song on Band Lab is because every time I hop in y'all shit, y'all want me to go in raw and then y'all talk about how y'all gonna fix it up later, you know? And then when y'all fix it up later, it ain't shit that I like. I'm not saying it don't sound good, it ain't decent, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's shitty, but it ain't 
what I would prefer to drop. I would drop some shit off Band Lab before I drop <coughs> that shit. I got in the studio recently with somebody and they made my shit sound spiffy. And I ain't even discrediting these niggas or nothing. You know what I'm saying? They let me get in that bitch for free. I ain't paid not a fee, none of that. But uh, I was just, uh, I was singing. They made my shit come out nice. I was like, what I say? I just really want some time to take you out, yeah. Been thinking about you and your smile, yeah. And you see how that shit sound like that? Mm -hmm. Bro, the way he enhanced my shit sounded like he literally <laughs> just made me singing better. Like, not way better, but like he was like, man, I can make your voice sound like you were yeah. singing a tad bit better. And it sounded nice. It sounded good. But would I drop it? No. I would not drop it. So that's my advice to y'all producers, bro. When I want to really criticize and get y'all constructive criticism moments. When y'all niggas working with a real artist that's been doing some shit since they was nine. I'm not saying I've been producing since I was nine. I ain't saying none of that. But I've been rapping since I was nine. If I can't go in the studio and my shit already vocalized. Because you didn't, you know, told me to spit a couple of things and was like, all right, okay, I know, I know what I should get you to sound like. And we can't go in there and work like that. I don't even want to work with you, bro. Like, facts. Like, fuck all that. Half of the shit I drop that y'all be listening to, you talking about that shit sound dope. Nigga, I made that shit on my phone. A pair of iPhone headphones. Bitch, somewhere, somewhere around this bitch. A pair of iPhone headphones and, a, and an iPhone, bro. Like, and that shit be sounding way better than y'all shit. And I ain't even capping. I'm not even talking about... Based off my perspective, I'm talking about I let a motherfucker listen to what you made for me and then I let the next motherfucker and they be like, all right, bet. He got that shit on Bear Lab sounding way better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and that was really where it's coming from my little brother Keone. You know what I'm saying? I let him criticize, you know, if I should drop shit that I made on Bear Lab or if I should drop something that I got from another person that produced it. You know what I mean? But that's just my advice on y'all producers. Now, for the artists, motherfuckers need to stop hating. Down here in Pueblo? Down here in Pueblo. Straight up, stop hating on each other, bro. Let's let's work together. Everybody trying to come up, everybody trying to make a bag, everybody go the same to make it, right? As everybody go, then why the fuck everybody can't pick their one vision together and make it to that goal, bro? Everybody got different visions, but one goal. This nigga wanna be a videographer. This nigga wanna be an artist. He wanna do this, like, bro, let's just all work together, bro. Like, that's my whole point, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas, man, it, it, all that hating shit need to go. Cause the only reason why I know motherfuckers hating, bro, and I'm not trying to sound cool, none of that. I just know motherfuckers be hating. Cause motherfuckers will walk straight up to me and be like, hey Rico, I fuck with your music. But not one time will they share or like that shit when I drop it on Facebook or Instagram. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying everybody. For the motherfuckers that do like my shit, I'm not talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of motherfuckers. I'm going based off my own experience. There's a lot of y'all motherfuckers out here that claim y'all fuck with a motherfucker. But when it comes to showing love and support on social media, where they actually need to blow up at, y'all niggas don't show no love. And then y'all wonder why they don't show no love to you. Well, maybe it's because you want some hating ass shit and he know that you're hating ass shit and now he like, fuck you. And none of y'all gonna really come to each other and say that. But my whole point is, maybe instead of coming to each other and saying some shit like that, maybe y'all should come to each other and say, hey, let's work together. Let's make a feature. Let's get this shit done. Most of y'all motherfuckers ain't really even got no large ass fan base where I wanna pay y'all niggas three hundred dollars for a feature. Some niggas be like, "Oh, I'm charging for it." I'm not, but I don't even charge for a feature, and I sound better than most motherfuckers, bro. I'm just being honest, like freestyle, making a song, whatever it is, I'm gonna sound better, right? And I don't yeah. charge, bro, cause it's all love, bro. Like I'm not famous, bro. I'm not rich, none of that. When I get rich and famous, and then I got my label over here fronting me bread or some shit like that. And I need the bread, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, now, you, now you gotta pay me, because now it's business. See what I'm saying? Ain't nobody doing real business right now. Ain't nobody getting paid millions from no labels. Ain't nobody making no fucking millions. So so do you think that, you know? do, do you think that you should, so if somebody, like, say, like a local artist down here wanted to do a feature with, with you, would you charge them or would you Never. not charge them? I would not charge them. And the only reason why I wouldn't charge them is because I'm not making no money right now. This shit is not a business, right? I'm not trying to, bro. But if you're trying to live, live I, I, off I'm this not, shit, though. It, to the niggas that's doing labels, that's different. Like, you know, like motherfuckers that's trying to build labels and shit, that's different. But even with that, like, bro, like, y'all don't got million dollar money to even be trying to, like, I'm not saying your label ain't gonna make it nowhere, but y'all motherfuckers be trying to act like y'all already got a million dollar label. Trying to charge motherfuckers bread and shit like that. Like, bro, nigga, we, no, that shit dead. Like, motherfucking videographers, producers and shit, depending on how your shit is, hell yeah. Charge that bread. But artists that ain't got no fan base, none of that shit, 
Bro, don't charge me no bread, bro. Don't charge me no bread. I'm not, I'm not, because I wouldn't charge you no bread if I ain't got no fan base. And if I ain't making no money off this shit, you know what I mean? Like, that's my whole point. Motherfuckers just be quick to make a dollar off a motherfucker instead of actually trying to work with motherfuckers and build something so motherfuckers are actually really making money. You know what I'm saying? Like, people just look at somebody like something to get some money off of instead of looking at somebody like, damn, me and him could actually make some money together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my whole point. It could be with anybody. Me, the next motherfucker you sit next to, nigga, your brother, your cousin, your dad. I don't, I don't give a fuck who it is. At the end of the day, that's how I can work, but, you know. Like, is there any uh, artists down here that you feel like you could collab with and actually, you know what I'm saying, get get shit rolling? All these niggas. Whoever went in, like, all these niggas, bro. Right. But not everybody is fucking top tier, like how you are. No, no, some of us, but I didn't see that, that. That's what I'm saying, though. You just see how you just said that? I know they not. And I still got faith in these motherfuckers, cause I'm not, I'm not I'm saying I'm going I'm I'm going put my all in you. Know, I'm gonna wake up, make your breakfast, take you to school. I'm not I'm not saying that. But when it comes to me being like nigga, I can make your shit. You sound wretched. I know I know a couple motherfuckers. I ain't gonna say their name, but they show me some shit and they like, hey, get on this with me. I'm like, I don't even answer back to them niggas. Yeah. Type shit, cause I don't even know how to really. Say something back to these niggas without really offending one of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? And getting the motherfucker mad. But my whole point is, somebody like that, I could be like, you know what? I'm going to work with it. I'm going to get in the studio and I'm going I'm to try my best to my intentions to make it. Bro, I got my nigga. My nigga Dejan don't want to rap like that, bro. Dejan not no, no real rapper. Bro, you know what I mean? I'll play that shit one time. I don't even know if they can hear it like that. But... That shit came out sounding good, though. Hell yeah, I got that nigga Dejan sounding lit, bro. I, I, I'm just telling him, like, say it like this. Okay, all right, no, don't say it like that. Not the way you wrote. No, nigga. Say it like this. Fuck it up, nigga. Don't follow my shit. You gonna follow it. Don't my dress. Fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? At first, he just, fuck it up, nigga. He just rapping. I'm like, nah, bro, say it like this. Yeah. All right, now, say it like this. And we won. And it was complicated. Yeah, it was frustrating. Motherfuckers wanted to talk back, you know, all that. But I'm like, I'm going to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work with this motherfucker because that's the type of heart I got. Mm -hmm. Rather motherfucker whack, rather if he feel like he can't rap, rather if he want to rap, no matter what it is, I work with people. You know what I mean? I like that. I like that. I like that shit. I like giving the people inspiration, making them feel like they can do something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Shoot, uh, <clears throat> what, what are the... um? What are the shows like down here in Pueblo? Like, do people even throw shows, or is shit. it just co competition shows and whatnot? Shit, I'm going to be honest, bro. I can't speak on everything, because I ain't there for everything. Uh, I know D-Man just threw a little contest show to go open for Kirk Cobain. Somebody won that shit. Uh, I wasn't there for that, so I really can't speak on shit like that, you know? I, I'm not there for every concert, but when I'm there for shit, I'm going to be honest, bro. That should be that should be dope, but it be it be dope in my own way. It be dope to me because I feel like you know I'm getting lit for the night with my guys, you know my my peoples and shit. We turning up, but it's a couple times I popped up and man, motherfuckers ain't ain't you know <coughs> ain't had that bitch popping like they were supposed to. But then again, it is Pueblo, you know what I mean? Yeah, that go best out people mindset though. Motherfuckers are throwing a little party at Chelsea's. Everybody pull up to that bitch. Everybody pull up to that bitch. But then the concert come through, ain't nobody there like that. You know, only motherfucking people that's like performing and they peoples and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then when they leave, like you realize, like, oh damn, that was really just people's peoples and shit. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's crazy. So I'm just like, the way motherfuckers be popping up to get drunk and have a good night out is the way y'all need to pop up and have a good night out and show support to motherfuckers that's trying to pitch our city on the map. Cause I could just blow up and be like, I'm from Kalamazoo and never mention Pueblo. See what I'm saying? Like, a lot of motherfuckers could do that. Just blow up in Denver and Colorado, period, and never mention Colorado. You know what I'm saying? And never pitch our niggas on the map. Fact. You see what I'm saying? So, like, that's my whole point. Like, like, go turn them motherfucking shows up. If you Not just when your people's there and none of that. Like, everybody that's over here at the bar on a Friday night and that bitch packed, and I'm getting in there, I'm already dropping sweat drops because there's so many motherfuckers in this bitch. That's how them shows need to be. And that's fact. For real. Y'all don't show enough love to y'all artists in the city. But y'all show love to this liquor and these bottles and having a good time at the pool table. You know what I mean? And that's that. Why do you think that people don't show show enough love to 
to artists and whatnot down here? Man, I don't even know, bro. I could be messy and be like, because it's too many drug addicts and motherfuckers might be drug babies. No, I'm talking shit, but let me stop talking shit, bro. <laughs> really, though. Nah, bro, be you. Nah, my whole thing is, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know why motherfuckers the way they is. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't even know why I drink every day. I could say it's because my mama got murdered a couple months ago, but I've been drinking. How? You shit on the How know. has that affected you from then to now? What? Your mom get, getting murdered and whatnot. Yeah, th- things like that, man. I'd rather, I'd rather push that to the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm the same me. I'm the same me always. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just trying to go harder now. I'm just trying to go harder. You know, same goal. You know what I mean? Like, I'm same goal. Man. You know, get to it. Shit, we. Just, I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to put the family on. Everybody got to eat. You know what I mean? You know. But uh, no, that that, that I, yeah, that, that shit right there. That that, that hit you in different ways, man. That shit hit it. Yeah, that shit hit you in different ways, man. But no, I'm good. Shoot, uh, what's your favorite song to perform? Shit, I got this new one out called I'm Better. That bitch go nuts. It be like, bitch, I'm better, better, better. Anything you do, I do it better, better, better. Ride for the game, that's forever, ever, ever, hey. I've been through the storm, cold weather, make it better, hey. And then that, that's how I say that low. And then that bitch drop and I'll be like, I think I'm better, better, better. I'm gonna have to show you that shit sometime too, bro. Okay. I, no, it's a real good performance song. And I think I performed that shit at the end of the last little concert that they do and shit, that D-Mains end up going, going to do and shit. Yeah, I hear d main a lot. Like, do you ever go to his studio at all? I went in that bitch a couple times, bro. <coughs> like I said, man, like, that nigga got like $5,000 worth of equipment. He spent a lot of bread on this shit. And then I went in that bitch thinking that this nigga was going to have me sounding like Drake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, for real. Like, when a nigga, like, I go like, like, you know, I'm, I'm not all in the producing world like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I produce on my phone. And that shit come out speaking. Yeah. So I'm not really knowing how all this $5,000 equipment and software and all that. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I went to his shot. I thought he was going to have me sounding like, like I was on. Because he was like, yeah, this, that, whoa, whoa. But shit, he's still working, I guess. I said, I guess he's still trying to figure it out. I don't know. So, like, are you uh, a part of any group down here, or what's your... Uh... No, I'm going to speak on that, too, right now. I want to speak on that, too, that that should be known, too, bro. Look, bro. I'm so called, I'm so called I'm supposed to be the new way. I'm, I'm new way. I'm the nigga that, I'm the nigga the new way. You know what I'm saying? But that's really some shit I just made up with, bro, because we needed a group. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that want to be a part of us, that shit called New Way. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I made that shit up. Bro told me to make up a group name. He was like, make up some shit. You know what I'm saying? I thought about it, and I was listening to DC to Don. That nigga was like, welcome to that New Way. Yeah, that's that New Way. Dun, dun, dun. I was like, what? And since then, I was like, yeah, nigga, this New Way. It's new way, facts. Facts, So that shit came from. So it's new way around the bit. Shoot. Alright, so uh Do you have any plans on trying to like make a difference in the city that you are in right now down here in Pueblo? Like what do you feel like is like a difference you can make to impact other upcoming artists that are that want to become rappers down here and whatnot? You feel me like Honestly, bro. Or just like in Col- in Colorado in general, you know? Shit. Blowing up? Shit, that's why I'm trying, I'm trying to blow up. Shit, these motherfuckers, they can blow up. Shit, nigga, you, y'all be seeing me do my thing. Like, don't envy me. Don't hate on me. Shit. Support me. Try to do the same thing. Shit. That's what I would do with y'all. You know what I mean? Not, not, I'm trying to impact this city in different ways. You know what I'm saying? And show motherfuckers that they can actually be somebody. You know, because I know I could be somebody. Every day I wake up and I be like, man, fuck this. This shit ain't it. Going to work, clocking in and shit. Like, she don't even be the move. I don't even want to do that shit, bro. So I'm just trying to blow up to show other motherfuckers in this city they can do the same thing, but it got to start with y'all. That, that hate and shit got to go. 
Motherfuckers gotta show love to each and everybody, not just your boyfriend or your cousin or your peoples. Nah, bro, like, nah, your girlfriend, nah, bro. You gotta show love to everybody, bro. But I'm gonna impact this bitch in different ways, bro. I just, I'm trying to get to it still, too. You know what I mean? How do you feel like you can, you can impact it? You doing something for the community? No, I ain't gonna do so. I, everything I do, the community gonna see. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm trying to impact artists, bro. That's what I am. I'm an artist. I don't know about everybody else. There's different people in the city, bro. I work at a subway. I see lawyers and all type of motherfuckers come in. I don't really get two fucks about them. I really don't. I'm not trying to impact them niggas, bro. I'm trying to impact artists. I'm trying to impact motherfuckers that really got the mindset to really want to be somebody and actually got the potential when it comes to this rap shit. That's the people I'm trying to impact, bro. And that's facts, you know. I don't know about everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like. Just by impacting them, they can probably feed their family. Shit, you know? That's all I know. I don't know. Okay, okay. Give me one second, y'all. Give me one second. We coming up with another question. I know this Jack Daniel. Honey, bro. <coughs> we ain't gonna mention that. Bro. We ain't gonna mention that. I'm gonna mention this, though. I just tried to take that big ass pill. Almost threw up. Yeah, we gonna cut it, that like, out. choked me. <laughs> <laughs> it choked my head back yeah. think we over here popping a perk. No, it's <laughs> my prescription. We're taking more steps. I don't even pop a perk. I don't even be on the perk. <coughs> so, like, you have any, uh, you have any, <coughs> any upcoming projects coming up at all? You, Bro, coming, you dropped a mixtape. Have you dropped a mixtape? No, not yet. I, so it's just pretty much singles. Yeah. So why haven't you dropped the mixtape? Because I don't, I, mean, I don't even know how to do all that shit, bro. I just figured this whole shit out when I started dropping the singles. Like I dropped like damn near thirty some singles just because shit. I thought that was a way to do it on United Masters shit, but now I know how to do it. Now I know how to really piece up the whole little mixtape, drop that bitch. So I really got a lot of shit coming though. I really got like a whole three mixtapes coming. I'm gonna drop them all at different times, but yeah, I got like three minutes takes coming. I'll probably drop one of them bitches this month. You know what I mean? I don't know, but we're gonna make that shit blow. We, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get the promo, promotions right and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to get my promotions and shit right. How do you usually uh, promote? Man, I music? used to do it like, honestly, I used to do it through like, my little brother taught me a way. I used to go to like certain, uh, I used to, I added a whole bunch of music groups. And I used to share my shit to the music groups. And then whenever I dropped music and I would share it to each music group, everybody that's following that music group or part of that music group would see it. And it would like make the numbers go up quick and I would like reach a thousand in like a day or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But then that shit stopped working because Facebook started updating and started doing weird ass shit. And now you gotta go like click it group for group to share it to them and shit. It's weird. But. Shit, I just figured out a whole new way to promote myself, bro. I get on TikTok, me and my girl, that shit go nuts every time. We blow that bitch up every time we get on live, nigga. We, within three <coughs> seconds, we already damn near like a thousand motherfuckers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I thought last night to myself, this something that just popped up. I'm like, I'm finna start using TikTok to promote my music. Yeah, you know I feel like that, that's actually a great way to promote promote your music. Shoot, uh, let me ask you this. Um. What do you feel like is like your biggest weakness as a mu music artist? As a music artist, my biggest weakness as a music artist. My biggest weakness as a music artist. I don't even know how to answer that, bro. No, I thought you was gonna say in life or something, but you talking about as a music artist? My biggest weakness? I don't even know how to answer that, bro. Like, what you mean? Like, I don't even know. Like, as a music artist, bro, like. Well, okay. I'm looking at it. See, now I'm looking at it. Like, you asking me what I should do better as a music artist. There's a lot of things I can do better as a music artist. Okay, well, well. But you said, what is my weakness as a music artist? I ain't got no weakness, bro. Like, you can't do nothing that'll make him not spit bars. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't do nothing that'll make him not spit some raw shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's unstoppable. 
You know what I mean? Like, he gonna say some raw shit no matter what. Like, I ain't got no weaknesses when it comes to rap. So I, I, you gotta open that question up for me real quick. You gotta break that thing Okay, down. well, let's, let's, let's revert it to in life then. My biggest weakness in life is my motherfucking emotion. Real shit, and I don't talk to you. used to be whack as fuck, bro. Bro, if you go back on any of my old shit, bro, I grown like nigga a bear hug much. Like, what the fuck? Bro, that shit was whack as fuck, bro. Everything I dropped from 2016, 17, 18, that shit whack. It's fuck. Like, I wouldn't even play that shit around nobody. Why not? Bro, that quality shit was lame, nigga. That's when I used to be fucking around the band lab. I know what I was doing. But nah, I ain't gonna lie, I seen it. It, it grew exponentially. How, 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 how do I say that shit? Exponentially? Exponential? I don't even know. I don't even know. Exponentially. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> No, that shit grew. It did, bro, because, bro. I would say enormously. I don't know. Exponentially. <laughs> yeah. Expeditiously. Hey, what is it? Expeditiously? Expeditiously. Expeditiously. That shit grew exponentially, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nah, for real, though. It did, though. Like, even when I used to make music with uh, LDA in them, bro. Like, to this day, this nigga, to this day, them niggas still ass. I wouldn't make not one song with LDA. I wouldn't make not one song with them LDA niggas, bro. I ain't saying I don't fuck with them. I'm just saying, like, I spit bars. They used to fuck with me. Okay. Shoot, let me ask you this. What is one thing you feel like you can uh, work on to become a better artist? Is it like the business side? Cause you already got the rapping down. So. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. See, I gotta get my marketing right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get my marketing right. Uh, gotta keep my papers at my. Gotta keep my paper at certain levels, to where I'm able to just be able to promote this in certain ways, be able to push it out there. You know what I mean? But uh, I was going to school for a minute for my fucking business and multimedia and shit, and uh, it taught me a little something. But uh, I got I got this homie doing motherfucking yeah yeah stock bro I'm trying to learn a little bit about that I'm trying to do a lot of things man I know that it takes money to really make money you know and I'm just trying to put myself out there and really promote myself in some type of way man motherfuckers be spending a million dollars when they be dropping songs and you be wondering why that shit on radios and shit like that bro like motherfuckers be spending money on that shit to be on radios and all over the place and you know what I mean yeah. And I ain't got that type of money right now to be doing all that. So I'm just trying to do it in a way that a motherfucker see me. Like I said, you know, it's a lot of ways too, though, you know. Fuck around, I have my girl on the TikTok. She dancing on one of my songs or something. Might blow that bitch up. Shoot, uh, how much would you say that you've actually invested into your career as a music artist? Financially or, or all together? All together, financially. Let's, let's just throw it all into one big pot. Uh, Between promotion, videos, to, uh, not to much. the studio. I'm gonna keep it 100, not much. I've been leaving it all up to my nigga. I've been leaving it all up to my nigga, nigga Tron. Uh, a couple of times I paid, like I said, a couple of times I paid for some shit, you know what I'm saying, for Facebook and Instagram and promoting my little post or whatever. But otherwise than that, when it comes to like really promoting, and how like motherfuckers be coming up to me like, oh my god, that's Rico. And motherfuckers be seeing me like, that's one guy. And it be, cause that nigga Niggatron, he be, he be promoting the fuck out of me. And I, that's why I be lacking it. I don't be promoting myself. And so, shit. so is Tron, is, is Tron uh, your manager? Yeah. Okay. Um, what legacy are you trying to trying to leave behind as an artist? Nigga, I'm 22. I ain't thinking about no motherfucking legacy right now, bro. Why not? Bro, because, like, bro, I, I don't even know who the fuck I am right now. I'm trying to get these millions. 
bro. <laughs> like, bro, like, <laughs> bro, like, like, I ain't trying to leave. I ain't got no kids, bro. bro like, what the uh, fuck? Like, nah, <laughs> I ain't even got no kids right now. But no, nah, if I was to leave a legacy, though, bro, like, how the fuck I'm gonna leave a legacy? I ain't got no kids, bro. What are you talking about? I'm, but I'm 22, bro. I ain't thinking about death right now, bro. I'm trying to. Leave. This is behind. Yeah, <laughs> like, leave behind right now. I'm, I'm not trying to leave behind <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't know, you actually think that would leave 80. Get out the room, nigga. I just tired of going back. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, you threw like, me off okay. of that because you said leave behind. What legacy I'm trying to leave behind? Why well, I want to leave something behind? I'm saying, like, you know, when you get older and blase, blah, blah, but, uh, yeah, uh, nah, uh that's uh, fucking my whole head what, up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to, like, like, Push out here to these to these young kids and shit like that. You feel me? Like ah, oh, facts, facts, bro. Y'all niggas need to stop shooting each other, bro. Stop shooting each other, bro. Facts, bro. Get off that dumb ass shit. Stay in the crib. Get on your little PS4, little mama bought you for you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You end up still be on me, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Hop on line or show me. You know what I'm saying? Crack open a couple of beers, bro. Rico might swing through and buy you some. If you can't even get in the liquor store, bro, just chill out. No, I'm capping. I ain't gonna do that, but. But no, my whole point is, bro, stay out the way, man. Y'all young niggas just stay focused, man. Uh, school really where it's at. I ain't just saying, like, that's going to pitch you somewhere. But I'm just saying once you graduate, you know, get through high school and shit, you know, then you'll be able to do certain things, like, you know, try to enroll in college based off your GPA and shit. You might be able to get into good college. You know what I mean? And there's opportunities out there in the world, man. We, we don't live in an old world where motherfuckers just... Ain't had too much. We got opportunities out here, like college. All that shit has wider opportunities. Nigga, you can do this shit with the music. All that shit. Nigga, I know a homie right now is free. You know what I'm saying? He going to school right now for producing. They giving him all the money to buy his equipment and do everything. You see what I'm saying? So shit, my nigga uh, Quan right here that's interviewing me. My nigga with the CSU. You know, that's the reason why he out there to do all the video shit. And you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, like, there's opportunities in the world. And when you got that title behind you, you were able to do certain things and move in certain ways. Like all that shooting shit and that gang banging shit and that and that trying to be rah rah, that, that shit ain't gonna leave you nowhere, bro. I'ma just be honest. Like, and that's coming from a nigga that's 22, bro. Like, I done did that shit when I was like 11, 12, 13, 14. I done been locked up, juvenile, long days in that bitch waiting to get out, still smoking weed, getting caught by my probation officer. You know, doing dumb ass shit, getting more charged. I, I done been through that. You know what I'm saying? And I'ma just be honest, bro. That shit retarded. Like, look, I didn't live the grown man life before I was even a grown man. You know what I mean? Like, I was out there, 13 years old, drinking at the motherfucking college parties with my cousins and them. You know what I'm saying? We going hard every night. You know what I'm saying? Off E and J and all type of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Walking back home, I'm 13 year old body boy. Walking back home, late night, cold. You know, but we drunk and a bitch just turned up. We didn't stay overnight some white bitch house. My cousin was fucking. You know what I mean? Like, like we didn't. You know what I'm saying? That grown life shit. What I'm trying to say that oh we lit, we grown, we. Yeah, it ain't even worth it, bro. You gonna fuck around, be talking like you 30 when you 22. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Having an old, old, old mind and shit like that. You feel me? Fucking uh, uh, so let me ask you. I'm gonna ask you these last two questions. What do you hope to accomplish this year? Well, not 2022, but like this year upcoming. Upcoming. Let's we're gonna talk about manifestation 2023. I want to accomplish a lot of relationships with people and build, and after that. Within the year, I want to be but able to... But we also want to talk about what do you want to accomplish as an artist. Oh, as an artist? I No, I want to, that's what I was going to get to. I want to build a fan base. I want to build a fan base large enough. By the time 2023 ends, I want to build a fan base large enough where, you know, motherfuckers are starting to see me in some type of way. You know what I mean? Rather if it's like, you know, like 2K followers, 3K followers. I ain't looking for nothing big, you know what I mean? Like I'm 30K, nothing like that. I'm just trying to build something simple. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I, I bear, I'm barely out of K right now. Cause I, I feel like a lot of people, I don't know if they just not see me or what, but it's like a lot of motherfuckers be hating me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me not promoting myself. I should take the blame. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's like 
I'm trying to build at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my followers up and shit. Get my shit together, you know what I mean? So when I drop a song, motherfuckers can actually see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wanna accomplish. So we're gonna accomplish that by 2023. We're gonna get it up to at least 2K. 2K followers. That's my minimum. My largest is maybe if I if I'm feeling myself, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm telling you, maybe about ten. Maybe about ten. <laughs> Yeah, he laughed at that. You see? Like, nigga, I ain't gonna happen. Like, like, <laughs> no, bro, I got it. Hashtag all profit, no losses. No, I probably ain't gonna Hashtag all profit, no losses. But maybe I'm gonna push myself. I'm gonna, I told you. If it happens, I'm gonna be surprised too, nigga. Shit. We all gonna be surprised. I'm like, damn, you really did that? Like, yeah, nigga, you ain't even know. So, okay. as in, like, as in your major fan base, when you start hitting it harder, though, as in, you need to survive some, like, more supporting too because it can't be all this on you because it's too much work it's too much shit to do no but i do need to get my promotion up though I, it's like you can pay for it nowadays so it's kind of you know you gotta spend, I, I spend money, money on, on alcohol and smoking weed i could be spending that shit on trying to make it and i could have probably been made or it should you know what i mean you better have right here don't get management and shit promoting that's fine that's fine Okay, to end this off, what is one message you would like to give your fans? I don't even know if I got any, bro. Nah, you got fans, bro. Nah, I'm fucking around, but uh, one thing I can tell my fans, bro, follow what you believe in and keep going. Grasp on to that shit like when you jacking off, bro. Whatever. <laughs> Here's you know the same what? Thing. <laughs> what? No, for real, bro. Like, grass going to that bitch like when you got that bottle and you don't want to let it fall. And you don't want to let everybody hit it, so you try to touch it. Grass that bitch like that, nigga. That's how you grasp it. Grasp it like your titties hurt. <laughs> nigga, grasp that shit, nigga. I'm telling you, bro. Follow your dreams. Because if you don't, you're going to be a working class citizen trying to make it to middle class. And you probably never going to be rich. And that's facts. Chase your dreams. The only way you're going to be rich is like, like you be a doctor or some weird ass shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Scamming? Now you can be scammed, but then, you know, now you're looking behind your shoulders everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? Now you over here like, hey. I can't go. Yeah, you can't go because you were scamming. I can't now. Well, the police just stopped us. Oh, my God. He just went to jail. See? See how easy that happened? Because niggas be scamming. That's why I picked up the scam. I used to scam. I was a scam man, bam man. At the age of 15, nigga. I bought my whole family J's, nigga. I asked him about that. Yeah, about everybody J's, nigga. Went to the mall and bought, like, like five $5,000 worth of Jordans and clothes and shit. You know what I mean? Like, all scared. But then I had it to first. Go. Detroit nigga. Y'all heard it first. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah <laughs> Michigan nah, nigga. Nah, bro, they didn't like that, bro. <laughs> nah, for real? Nah, that's because I was fucking the pastor wife, bro. My girl. <laughs> Here he got caught up for that shit so we could speak loudly and clearly. Yeah, about yeah, that. <laughs> Pastor Strick Strickland. Search that nigga up. Yeah, pastor real. Strick Strickland. You, you, any, if you search up Pastor Strick Strickland, and I'd be like, you gonna tell me the fucking wife and you search him? You gonna be like, he won line. He won line. Oh, my mama, cause bro, bro, ain't nobody in the hood believe me too. Everybody was like, man, that little nigga lying. That little nigga lying. They wondering why I'm getting all this money to buy these bottles and shit like that. <laughs> bro, I'm in the hood turning up. You know what I'm saying? Going nuts. Bro, I'm out here fucking the pastor wife late night. Pulled off to the hood back in the Alamo, nigga. We in that bitch kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Smoking loud and shit. All, all, all some pussy money. You know what I mean? Crazy. Can you pass the collection ball again? Yeah, no, bro. Like, no, we, we was really out there, bro. Like, yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah, I think I got caught up in that shit, though, bro. Shit, I guess that's time for a different interview. Fucking, uh, so, uh, before we before we end this, where can we find, where where can we find Young Rico at on social media? Shit, everywhere. Nigga, SoundCloud, Apple Music, What's your Spotify, ads? Motherfucker. What's your ad at? Uh, what's that shit? All Hot Radio? Uh, my ad, cause I don't know what the Your ad, you feel me? Instagram uh, ad, your Facebook. How you do that shit? How y'all be doing that shit? How y'all be doing that shit? Uh, 
At Young Rico, 2020, that's my Instagram. Uh, iTunes Music. So you gotta search it up real quick. Say hello, we're gonna get y'all right. We're gonna get y'all right. Say no, you can search my shit on Google. It'll show you everything. Look, right here. So. Look, you search it up right here on Google. Right here. Like, I'm Google verified. You just search up Young Rico, bro, all together. Y U N G R I C O. I'm already verified, bro. You can listen to me on everything, bro. It's gonna show you all my links right here, bro. Straight up. You just search that up. I just got my picture on there. My picture gonna be there soon. And I might lie about my network too. Tell them I'm worth like two mil. Tell them I'm worth like two mil on there. I'm gone. Yeah, y'all gonna believe that shit too. 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 Y